Hello, I'm Jan Fitzer and in this video I want to show you a little track that I made mainly using the new Edelbrado Sounds library, the Sake Bottle. And we will start with listening to the whole piece and afterwards we will directly jump into the individual tracks so we can have a look into how I'm using the library and what you can do with it. The sake bottle instrument comes with several NKIs. This track starts with the pads NKI. And I chose um, the shimmer sound, so you can actually choose between five different sounds here. I also uh, am using the cathedral impulse response and I'm adding some width to make it wider. Here is a cut off, which is a high cut and I am automating the high cut frequency so the track starts a bit darker and a bit softer and it gets brighter over time. So let's have a listen to just that. The next element that comes in is the bass. For that I'm using the thick bass instrument, the sake bottle thick bass, and here I have a drive function and I got a, a whole envelope section, so it's an ADSR envelope. And also there's a little add sake button over here. The difference between with or without sake is that this one here now is a very full and warm low-end organic sound. Meanwhile, if you add sake, it's a more saturated, more synthetic and aggressive sound. So uh, let's have a listen to just the bass. Keep in mind, it's a very low-end bass, so listen to it on decent speakers or on headphones. Later in the track, I'm switching to a more aggressive bass uh, with added sake and also with some drive. So let's have a listen to this one. At the same time as the bass, the Dreamy Celeste comes in. The Dreamy Celeste is the third NKI of the instrument, which um, has also an envelope section and a width function. So the dreamy celeste here is actually just how it sounds when you open up the instrument. So I didn't do too much to it. The only thing that I changed is maybe a bit of the envelope and also I added an external echo and some external reverb. But let's have a listen to the sound by itself. So here I feel that the envelope can be very powerful. So let's have a listen to the whole set to the same section, but I will change the envelope while it's playing. Mm -hmm. 
and around bar 17 the lead sound comes in. Here I'm using uh, the thick bass patch again, this time with added sake, some drive and uh, I'm using an external saturator as well. So I'm playing around with the pitch reel quite strongly here with this one. Let's have a listen to it standalone. In the middle of the track, so just now, this lead sound is doubled with another sake bottle patch. This one is the sake bottle blow patch, so it's the not pre-processed um, sound of somebody blowing over a sake bottle. And um, here I'm also using some external saturation again, but other than that it's just the sound with the cathedral impulse response and also playing around with the pitch wheel. So let's have a listen to this one in combination with the lead. In the middle of the track also there's this pulse sound coming in and for this one I'm using Logic's internal ARP, like the MIDI arpeggiator, to get the MIDI information and um, I'm using the thick bass instrument again but this time I'm playing around with the envelope so it's a very um, short release time, it's a very short attack. There's no sustain level, with me, which means that the decay is actually um, determining how long each sound will be. And the drive button all the way up. And I'm cutting some high frequencies here. So I will show you how it sounds by itself and then it's um, doubled in different octaves. And the panning is um, constantly going from left to right speakers. So let's have a listen to this one. The last sound that I want to show you is this one over here and for this one I used the sake bottle blow NKI and I'm running it through Logic's internal guitar amp emulation. So um, with this sound I wanted to achieve something like a siren which is all always running in the background and um, I'm using the, the cathedral impulse response again. So let's have a listen. All right, that's already it. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed it. The link to the library is in the description and let me know what you think about it and leave a comment.